Hello again and welcome to our new video. This is a very special car we're going to show you today. It's just nine months old. It was registered end of June 2022 on a 22 plate. Now this is our Volkswagen Tourag. This is the 3 litre TSI V6 engine with uh, R-Line Black Edition, the auto gearbox. Now the car's covered just over 16,000 miles. It has the first two services on a service plan. We've got it booked in with Volkswagen for its first service, which is now due. And that will be done on the 11th of this month. And uh, we're gonna take you around the vehicle and show you. Now, the it's gonna be quite a long video, I'm afraid, because there's so much to show you. So for those of you that know the vehicle, you might wanna fast forward in, in uh, areas of the video. But uh, the whole car has been machine polished and detailed to a very high level, which is the same of all the cars here at Prestige Diesels and Sports. And uh, it's just quite an exciting car. It's such an awesome looking thing. Despite its size, it's got a very sort of sleek look about it. I mean, you've got these big 21 inch alloys. If we come, in fact, I can't go quite back far enough. If you look at the front of the vehicle, it's very, very sporty for such a, you know, an impressive car. I'm just gonna bring you around first and just give you an overall look of the vehicle. Obviously the black edition gets all the extra black trim. We've got 21 inch alloys, LED lights, adaptive all weather lights, high beam assist, panoramic roof on the vehicle, radar, cruise control, the list goes on. So I'm gonna try and remember everything. Now, if I bring you in close, it's not got any nasty stone chips or anything. There might be a couple of very minuscule little dots on the front. All those headlights are in really nice condition. There's no chipping or peppering to the lenses. Just bring you around and show you the other side. And if I come up onto the bonnet, there are no chips or scuff marks on the paint. It's come up beautifully. Look at that flared arch at the front, the way it all sits out. Bring you around across the front. If I bring the camera across like so, you can see I've had a really good look around to check for anything to point out as I always do in the videos, but there's nothing really to point out. All of the windscreens in lovely condition. And this has a very large panoramic roof, which also opens up. Uh, they don't always open up on all of the, the, the various models and makes, but this one does open up electric blind there as well. If I come back, I always like to show this view down the side of the car so that you can see all the panels. It's not ever had any paintwork. Obviously it's not that old, but if I come down low like that and up, you can see that all those panels, it's like brand new to be honest with you. And I'll come round to the other side and do the same. The idea of the video is to show you the condition of the vehicle, not just the vehicle. And you can see the same on this side. All of the tires, incidentally, in case I forget, are running about six mil at least of tread, and they're all even, they're all Bridgestone Potenza, uh, sorry, not Potenza, Alenza. I come back out over here. Maybe if I bring the view up as well. Really, I've come round to this side. I could say very sporty for a vehicle of this size. If you look at the back of the car, the way it sort of swoops down. All of the wheels are in really nice condition. No marks at all. Obviously it's got self parking as well. Let's come to the back wheel. And nothing on there. And then we'll do the same. We'll look down the vehicle from the rear quarter here. And then across the back. 
Like I say, it's absolutely lovely, this car. I wouldn't mind this myself. If we come up onto the roof, and obviously privacy glass at the back as well. And there's a view from the back. Lovely uh, LED lights as well. You've got a reflector down in the bottom of the bumper there. You see that running all the way along. Twin exhaust. It's got a lot of styling and a lot of edges to it. And these rear wheel arches, you see how they sit out? It's got a lot of really, it's a very nice shape. You see that, how they come out? Sort of like a dome effect there. I'll try and come back as much as I can. And then I'll come round. In fact, let's just show you these wheels. Back one. Car has obviously things like keyless entry and keyless start. There you go. Now, I think what we'll do next, we'll go into the vehicle on the passenger front side. So I've got the key in my pocket. If you put your thumb just on there, the car will lock itself. Now to unlock, just put your hand in and open up. Just show you the door card on this side. There are no scratches, no marks at all. Puddle lights down there. And if we look at the seal all the way along, We've got some rubber Torag mats in the car. Now these are the Ergo comfort seats. Now you've got the buttons on the side there, but when I go around the other side, you can actually move the base section of the seat closer in to hug you as well as the bolsters here. You can also adjust the heating of the seats and balance the back to the base. You've got a huge screen that pretty much runs all the way across the front. Really nice finish, if I can get that in focus. With trim inside the vehicle. Very, very smart inside. Center armrest there. And that huge panoramic roof. Let's take a look in the back now. Oops, let's just shut that front door. And starting again with the door card. No damage on there all the way to the bottom. <clears throat> and if we look at the door shuts, all like the day it left the factory. We've got climate control for the rear passengers as well. Just down on here. Ice effects for the child seats, center armrests, nice contrasting stitching there. And no marks on those back of the front seats, it's all nice and clean there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we've got the key in our pocket, so by swiping our foot once under the back of the vehicle, the boot will open up automatically. Now there's also um, a choice you can, t I think you can turn that off, but there's an auto button. So when you press it, it automatically closes on its, end, on its own. If we look across the top of the back bumper, no score marks or scratches. 
all the boot carpets, really nice condition. The roller blind. We can drop the front seats, they're split, as you can see, with this lever on the side here. And then you've got a button just here, which if we press this, this will actually drop the vehicle. Ah, oh, I haven't got it running. So when the vehicle's running, it will actually drop the vehicle and then you can put it back up. There's like a pump that runs and puts the vehicle back up. Underneath, we've got the uh, foam kit and pump, locking wheel nuts in there as well. All nice and clean in there. <coughs> I'm just gonna press that button and you can hear a beeping sound. And if we just stand back, I guess if you're getting something out the boot and then it will come down just after. Now, additionally, there is a rubber mat for the back of the vehicle, but we wanted to show you the carpets underneath, but that fits neatly inside to protect the carpet. Let's move around to the, I'll just point out the filler cap here, no marks or scratches around it. All nice and clean in there. Go. If we open up the back door and look at this door card, oh, let's just zoom out a bit, there we go. No scuffs on this door panel either. And if we look at the seals, an all round back of that driver's seat, no scratches or anything. And there's, there's, there's always a bit of give in the lever, in the seats. Just a bit more comfortable like that, I guess. Centre armrest. And then the drive door. I've checked all the door edges. There's no chips or scratches on any of them. Now I'm just going to turn the lights off. So the lighting button is this one just here. If you look up on the dash, oh, we've got the door, let's press it again. Auto. And then off. Off. <laughs> and then we've got memory positions for the seating at the front as well. Driver door cards, all nice. Got the memory seat. Oh, it's in, not in focus, there we go. And these lovely little lights, these little dots that run all the way along. You can fold the wing mirrors in manually as well. If we look down at the sill, it's just a reflection. If I move back with some force, sometimes the lighting above looks like white blotches, but it, um, it's not scratches at all. The front part of this seat will move forward as well. It's part of the comfort mode in the Ergo comfort seat. I'm sure it's called Ergo. Yeah, it looks like it. And you've got the stainless buttons down there. We've got the all weather lights as well. <clears throat> the idea is that they light the road up better in wet or foggy conditions by adjusting where the beam is pointed. Okay, I think we'd best jump in. Let's pull this door over. Now, let's start it up. Get it in focus. So there's the service, it's just coming up. It's got 700 miles to run. Obviously it's gonna be done um, way before that because it's not going anywhere. You can see the screen at the bottom for the adaptive or, or radar cruise control, which will keep you at a set distance behind the car in front. Now, on this side of the steering wheel here, we've got um, a button down here, like a slide button, the heated steering wheel, you can change the views, and then these ones here, let me get this back in focus, they run along the menu in the middle, like so. So 
So a select off road, for example. Uh, so it gives you like a compass, uh, like a balancing, driving data, assist systems. There's your radar, cruise control, for example. Map. Which, if we change the view on the steering wheel, we can have the map like so. Go to the next one, you've got your audio, and then you can go up and down for all the options. Like I say, there's so much on this to go through, it's um, it was a little bit daunting to be honest with you when I first looked at it. So, there we go, you got that view and that one, and then let's just move that back to let's put it back to map. Now, if we look across to the left, we've got this huge, great big screen. It's obviously all touch screen. We've got speed limit display as well up in the left-hand corner there. Um, you can change it. I've set it on the dark um, map because uh, the camera with the bright screen, it, it sort of reflects too much. Now, when I first looked at this screen, I was a bit taken back by where I was going to go. So I'm going to start with the seat. So that's start down here by pressing on one of the seats. Now we have comfort, balance, and other. So if we go into comfort, you'll see it highlights the front of the seat and we can pull it out or pull it in to give you a bit of leg extension. Seat back bolsters. So we can squeeze those in and it's hugging me at the moment or we'll pull them back out to give you a bit more room. Then we can go to the seat cushion as it's called on here sorry if that gone out of and we can hug or relax the sides of the base of the seat so you can get very comfortable in these seats now the balance is for the heating now what you'll notice is if i bring this down the heating is just for the base bring it up for the top of the seat or you can balance it somewhere in between that suits you if you're back if you've got back ache for example but you don't want a hot bum then basically you can heat your back out without getting a, a hot bottom shall we say <laughs> i was thinking of something else then but we won't go there so let me just check i did everything in the seats yeah oh other seat so you can also synchronize the passenger seat as well from this side um if we come down, oh, we've got a click off of there, must remember. And then you've got your air freshener, high speed fan, low spat fan, temperature, eco settings, etc. There, <coughs> excuse me. Now, this button here will bring you back to that menu. And you've got lots of different options here. When you see these little dots, it means you've got another view. So you can just flick across like that. And you can check everything and even change the clock. Different display, we'll leave it on that one. Your telephone, obviously it's got Android Auto, Apple CarPlay radio stations we can change the view down here or we'll have station list etc your different bands internet radio etc now that one there i'm not too sure if there's a gesture there must be there might be a gesture control sort of okay let's come out of that one before we get to okay let's go back Oh no, sorry, this way. So that, yeah, that covers all that. Now if we go to menu up here, <clears throat> excuse me, we've got all of the options on here. Your sound, obviously. You can make all your adjustments there. Phone, images, settings. There are lots of settings in here you can play around with. Let me try and get this camera. Mobile settings, etc. We go back into here, apps, um, 
vehicle tire pressures oil that is in there as well um, back to your navigation and then you can change the view of the map here 2d um, satellite map when your phone's connected I believe you can split the screen let's take that out for a second because we don't need that we don't want all those bits on there and uh, you can't it there's some shortcuts at the top there's your Apple CarPlay mirror link I'm sorry about the reflection off the screen it's such a big screen so quite a lot going on in there and if we come down just down to here we've got a USB-C and wireless um, charging down there you can lay your phone in there uh, a much better system than a cradle because you can lay um, one of the plus phones if you like in there quite easily and it will charge Got to shut that up and really nice gear lever here your park is on the side and then the release button here now what I'm gonna do in fact I don't think I need to be in gear now where is okay we come down here this is the volume by the way um, parking auto hold now if we press this one is it gonna do it uh, let's just go back to this window well we're out of focus think we need to be in gear so let's just pop it into gear now look at that for a display <clears throat> we've got the 360 camera now if we just tap on here oh, oh let's do that again we've got the markings we've got the tow bar if you've got a tow bar on the back we've then got another view now the this is the view where you can literally spin the car around and see all the way around the vehicle just like so obviously color and brightness there um, we can move that to a much bigger picture as well just spin it round um, okay there we go so there is that's the way in and on this section if we tap the top we can see out the front we can look down from the front if we tap on the side view we can see down the side of the car or we can see down both sides of the car so you've got a choice over here sorry about the focus we go to the back of the vehicle and then you can do, let's just check. Oh, is it that one? Oh, it's this one. And then you can see all around the back. So <laughs> there's, there's absolutely no excuse to scratch your car, basically, or to curb your wheels for that matter, with all those cameras. So we'll come out of there, we'll go back into park. Now, next we have um, the height settings for the vehicle for off-road or as it's set at the moment synchronized so if I bring the vehicle up I'm going to twist this round and what you'll see on the screen here is the level of the vehicle going up and you can also see that it's even as well I'm just going to take my foot off the brake a little bit might need a bit of movement and I can actually see the vehicle has moved up level off-road plus and if I move it back down you see the car dropping down I think the start stop just kicked in there we were in gear I think there we go the services just come up so that's where you change the level we've also got our drive modes so I'm going to bring you up onto the screen here and we have the eco mode the comfort mode normal driving mode 
sport mode. So in all these different modes, basically it's gonna adjust things, maybe like the suspension, the steering, the accelerator. Now the individual mode, oh, I pressed the wrong, okay, so it's going to individual. Ah, oh, there we go, settings. So this is where you can choose whether you want the air conditioning on eco, normal, uh, light assist, normal or sport. Let's put it in sport for argument's sake. Make sure that's in focus. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there's all these, the drive. Let's put that in sport for argument's sake. And then you're steering normal or sport chassis so you can have comfort for a softer ride as this has got the air suspension you've got a really smooth ride or you can stiffen it up with sport so we've set our individual settings if we turn to the next option we've got off-road again you can do the same with the chassis and everything on oh it's just set to off-road so you don't get to change those, but it tells you what's set on the car. And then we've also got snow and ice, and you can see all the changes there. And if you go on the I driving profile selection, expert. Well, when you become an expert, you're allowed to use that button. There's no expert for snow. <laughs> We don't get enough. No one's going to become an expert in that, are they? Right. So I think we've pretty much covered as much as anyone's probably got the patience to watch this video for. But there is so much, so much on it. Obviously, the um, all the cruise control is up on here. You've also got a shortcut for your drive, driving assist options, your lane assist, um, speed control. Where's the button? It's over this side. AC, that's your um, speed limiter, cruise control was the ACC, close lane, and it just goes round, yeah, so we can go to close, whoops, one button too far, back to the maps, let's change that view, now there is, let me just, ah, oh, that is, right, okay. Now there is a setting in there to change the options. Whoops, let's turn the radio down. Change the options. Ah, driving data, yep, yeah, we did all that. So so there we have it. Oh, what do we have? I know we've done all of those settings, so let's just go back to menu. Okay, right, I think we've pretty much, I'm just gonna show you the, the roof. So we've got a blind as well, but the roof goes all the way back. What I'll do, I'll leave that open. There's an electric blind there as well. There's a two-stage auto setting on there. We've got a, a normal USB-C, sorry, USB there. I think the one in here was a USB, yeah, that's a USB-C. Now the next thing I'm gonna to attempt to do is lift this bonnet up. So, while we're out the vehicle, Try and get this in focus. There's that lovely big panoramic roof. Now, there's a lever, I should be able to do this. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Now, that's what you call an engine bay. Look at that. And all you can basically hear is the ticking of those high pressure injectors. Beautiful and clean in there. So the next service we're having done, as I, as I mentioned, and um, there was another service after that, which is on the plan from when it was purchased new as well. I spoke to him the other day, like I say, this is booked in for the 11th of April. I think it's Tuesday week and that will be carried out by Peter Cooper Volkswagen locally. All up underneath here, is all lovely under there as well. So 335 brake horsepower 
from this V6 engine. Now, I can't remember the exact MPG figures, but uh, I think they're pretty good based on the fact that all these later cars have a lot of economy settings. So when you're cruising, you can put it into Eco Pro. The aerodynamics of these cars have changed so much and things like wheel bearings and all the components that are moving on the vehicle have all been, you know, um, designed to work a lot more freely. So the MPG is actually pretty good, but a beautiful, smooth and comfortable ride. Let's just come back out. So a very, very smart looking four wheel drive vehicle. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to um, give us a call because uh, it's, this is the first one of these, if I'm honest. Um, so there may be some things that you want to know about the vehicle that I can easily look up for you or check. It's a one owner vehicle. I forgot to mention that at the beginning, but um, this vehicle was actually purchased. They bought two of them. It was um, for the directors of a very large company and they'd ordered some, uh, I think Land Rover Defenders, brand new Land Rover D Defenders, which have been put on like a, a long waiting list. And they bought two of these. And uh, I believe we've only been able to buy them because the, the Land Rovers eventually are ready. Although I believe they're only getting one key with each of them because there's a shortage of microchips or semiconductors. Okay, so obviously the vehicle has still got just over two years manufacturer's warranty. And uh, if you need any finance options, please give us a call as well. So thank you for taking the time to watch the video. It's an absolute, absolutely awesome piece of kit there. Take care. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye.